Who do you think you are? It's so funny. Hi, he I'm he always Drew. comes up when we start playing because he wants to be involved. He or she lives. <laughs> Like, he sees that, oh, the boys are playing video games. I'm, I gotta get up here. I gotta get up here and then face the wrong way. <laughs> we have a third detective working the case today, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, Detective Dickinson. Sh oh, that's right, no senior detective's house looks... I don't even know how many of his names we've said on the channel. He's, he, he's a cat of many names. Yeah, we mainly call him Mr. F because it's abbreviated. He's but, really taken up the camera angle, Jamie. Yeah, he, he's been known to do that. Mr. F, have some decency. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought I would let Jameson take the reins today. Yes, I'm so grateful for that. Thank you, Jalen. You're welcome. So what is there to do? We have the cryptid, finally. I said we no need to finish more. Tino Balducci's That's thing right. and fax it to him. That's right. Tino has his, his ridiculous thing. Also, this will probably be uploaded a tad bit later, but for those who celebrate, I hope you have a splendid Thanksgiving. That's right. It is a... Uh, uh, it's the Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Yes. And we have our ghost energies to celebrate, just like the pilgrims did. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Ah! But if not, I hope it's at least a day off of work where you can just play Nancy Drew. Yes. And drink coffee. <laughs> Very much. Uh, hates paprika. We haven't... We're gonna have to do that for breakfast, I think. And to find out what side of the bed they get up, I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow morning, too. So I think that is our most, like in our face objective we need to be doing so yeah what's up i hate you um Jameson. nice talking to you stop Happy it trails. but i love this guy hello I'm... again i'll see you two later okay see you later all right i'm thinking Jamie, that... we need to sleep oh do we need to dinner first actually screw dinner no we we just did dinner i think okay cool wait did we i, sh I should go check they might be hank marvin not time for kitchen duty yet <laughs> it's they a little could... bit of cockney for you a little cockney for me okay I don't think we can solve this yet, but... Or actually, I think we can solve it any time, but it doesn't do anything yet. Let's try getting all mooses, maybe. Or all pigs. That can't be how it works. Well, yeah, you gotta solve it four times. Really? That's how it works? Yeah. Oh. So, I, I'm, I don't know what the order is, though, so... Might as well start with pigs, is what I'm saying. Uh, there's a different pattern each time you do it. Hmm. But it's not terrible. So let's see if anything happens when I get all pigs. Shit. Yeah. Look, it did wow, something. Wow, I just never Strange. thought it would be that easy. It's empty. Okay. <laughs> he keeps on... I have an archery target, and my cat... I keep it in my room when I'm not doing archery, and my cat has turned it into a scratching post, and so every now and again you just hear... <laughs> Just really, really loud, and it's just him shredding the target. What did that accomplish, though? Nothing it opened yet. Opened up a secret compartment with nothing. Okay, now we do dinner. So paprika time. Yes. Okay. So who wants what? Oh, it's a salmon knife. Easy. Two, three, two, one. He's a brave man. He asks for second helpings for his anchovies. Oh, oh, oh put wait, paprika. Wait, Ah! Jameson! We're screwed. Oh, wait, did I just... I accidentally just glitched it out of existence. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, I could have just thrown it away, but I picked up carrots and it disappeared. One, one, one. That was the wrong thing. Nice. You're having a difficult time today. Yes, I'm kind of struggling. That's a zero, and that was one salmon for Yanni. It's just me, or does that not look like a salmon at all? Okay, we can put it on the salad. Okay. Order up. There goes one. Order up! One's... Okay, two, one, two, one. And then one for the rest. Wait, how are we gonna learn the results of this? Are they gonna be like, Nancy, that salad sucked. They might. Tina Balducci, you've won best... I mean, worst puzzle of the year. Oh, oh paprika! Fuck! Icicle Creek Lodge is gonna go bankrupt from how much food we're wasting. One. Would you try anchovies on a salad? Probably. I would too. I mean, what if, what if I think Order I've up. only ever had it on pizza? One, three, one, two. Yeah, I think I've done that. I, I definitely have had and it. I don't pizza. think I was a fan of it. It's different. When I did cross country back in the day, we would have these like weird themed days, and one of them was anchovy day. And it was like after each mile we, want, we ran, we would eat one anchovy. And it was like a challenge. I don't know why we did that. That's but cool. It was kind of cool. 
I would do an anchovy run. <laughs> Just off basic principle. Can you load it up ah! with paprika? Wait, did I put pap on it? Yes, you did. Okay, good. Can, Order but, uh, up. Can you load it up with paprika, though? Good question. Guadalupe is getting a shit ton of paprika because she's a nutso. So now, I like how this time she's not putting uh, anchovies on her salad. Maybe she no like, paprika. Maybe she found out that anchovies aren't vegan. Like, what do you mean it's real fish? I just thought it was Swedish oh fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. She's gonna get high sodium and die. Oh my goodness. That is vomit inducing. <laughs> oh my god. What? I have to keep going. I need, I need to get all the borders covered. Okay, okay. That just happened. Eat up, Guadalupe. Order up. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. One, three, one, two. Two, one, three, two. We should, if we have to get a spoiler this game, we should each eat a tablespoon of paprika for the reward. No, that's literally really dangerous. I know, but I would rather do, do two one three two. Anchovies. Anchovies would be that's good. another good call. Anchovies or paprika? What was that? Two one three Dude, two. That's dangerous. Two. It will dry up your throat, and you won't swallow it, and then you'll die. Two. Yeah, I have done that. Paprika. Ah, good call. We know Yanni likes his pap. All right, let's hear it. No, oh, and by the way. Don't go adding paprika to Lou Talbot's food anymore. He hates paprika. But not Guadalupe. Just, just Lou Lupe liked her paprika sandbox. Evidently. She okay. Was like, she saw it and she was like, "Yum." Well, we can't rule out Bill since he didn't actually eat anything with paprika. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, he does hate paprika. No, she fucking loves paprika. Wait, you're, you're assuming Lou hates paprika? Lou is the one, he said at the end, don't go oh, put it in Lou Talbot's oh, food yeah. anymore. He but, hates but Bill paprika. didn't have it. Yeah, uh, he I likes... I just assume Bill is... Let's assume he, he likes it. He I like Bill, and I want to think that he enjoys paprika, because paprika is like one of my favorite spices. Even though I can't That's say true. it right. And then it's just, what side do people get up on the bed on? So I actually am pretty curious uh, about the implications of Nancy going on and telling... Ollie, what we found out about Lupe. That was pretty, pretty devious. We asked, why would, wh why would she have a bullet? Can you think of why someone have a bullet and said that she had dropped How one? How can I help you? Yeah. I have disturbed you long enough. Come back anytime. All right, Jamie, let's get a quick snooze in. Yeah, I think it's snooze time. On, on the Wii, do you remember that on the Wii version of this game, there was a photograph you had to piece together. It was in like little pieces. They were scattered throughout the lodge like a hidden object puzzle, and one of them was down here. That's not in this game? No. That was only on the Wii version. What? You had to rebuild a torn photograph. They So they added content to the Wii game? Oh, yeah. The Wii had a totally different cooking version, too. Cooking in the Wii was different. You could see the kitchen. You had to, like, swing the Wii remote to cut the steaks and oh, stuff like that. Oh, that's coming back to me. Yeah. It was trippy. Actually... What do you want? Oh, boy. You what? messed with my rifle, didn't you? Oh, my God. Yes, I got a hear. Yeah. <laughs> Nancy caused this. About. You used a bullet to push down the sight pin, so I'd miss that wolf. What are you, some kind of bleeding heart, tree hug, whistle <laughs> terrorist? Oh, my God. How dare you use that tone of voice with me? I'm leaving this place right now. Good. You just got yourself an escort off the premises. That's hilarious. I love that Nancy literally caused that by telling Ollie that um uh that Lupe <laughs> that Lupe dropped the bullet. And Nancy hears the shaft and she goes, Ooh, this I gotta hear. <laughs> That's so She's conceited. Just here for the devious drama. So that means Lupe has left the lodge. We're probably not even halfway through the game yet, and that's happened. We can't talk to her anymore? She's just a phone contact? She's gone. Lupe is out of here. She is has been voted off. She did not have a hidden immunity. Where are you going? Uh, I wanted to do the bathroom a couple times because Nancy can say a thing. Co one five 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 Mystico and prepare to be <sighs> amazed. Okay, that's what we needed. Great. We'll do that later on because I know that the fans love Mystico. Uh, real quick, what time is breakfast? Because I don't want to miss any more meals. Like six or something ridiculous. Seven. Seven a.m. So we'll get up at um. We can get up at okay, six let's to be, be safe. Real. Who's waking up at seven? On vacation. Oh boy, 7 a.m. Eats a teaspoon of paprika. <laughs> uh, is everyone still in their rooms, I wonder? Probably. What? Um, she, okay, everyone's awake. I think awake. this is Lupe's room. Oh no! If Lupe's gone, then how are we supposed to know what side of the bed she wakes up on? Oh, Jesus. Shit! Anyways, I, I did want to say that, um... That's not good. Uh... Wait. 
This isn't Luke Bay's room. This is Lou Talbot's room. Oh. Where does Lou Talbot better. sleep? If he's not... <laughs> does he roost on the ceiling like a bat? <laughs> okay, left side. No, wait. All these rooms right are side. clean. No, this that room's not clean. Yeah, the bed's made. Do you know how to tell? It's where their slippers are. Oh. Turn around. Shoot, I can't clean. Turn around. Oh, my bad, my bad. Slippers! Okay, that makes sense. So right side of the bed. Yeah. Who, whose room are we in? Who knows? Um... Yanni's. Wait. New rifle reviews. No, that's Yanni's, right? I think so. Um. Uh. So yeah, Yanni gets up on the right side. Right here. And Lou doesn't get up. <laughs> Lou does not get up. Maybe she gets up and like bolts down the center of the bed. We didn't know so last time, did we? Uh, he had art stuff, didn't he? Some things are missing. Maybe Lou went out and took them with him. I've never heard that before. Hmm. Um, interesting. Yeah, there. That's that's funny. There weren't even subtitles for that comment. Don't we have a master key that opens all these? Maybe it's this one. Nope. I feel like the maid should have that. Although the theft would probably go through the roof. We've already. Yeah, this yeah, one. this is Yanni's room. Then I think that's Bill. If it I unlock like the Bill. door and someone's inside, yikes. Okay, so he's still sleeping. Bill sleeps in. We at least know that he's a human. Can we call 6 a.m.? Sleeping past 6 a.m. sleeping in, though? <laughs> I guess. All right, uh, what time we should does get the laundry bag. Here? What? What time does everybody wake up? I'm guessing before six, if breakfast is at seven. Uh, I'm in the audience, Jameson. No oh, need to go cool. in there till it's time to cook. People wake up at any time. The, the freaking uh, time zones have been crazy among people in the channel. I'm a bit of a night owl, like Professor Hotchkiss. Julian so. is a night owl. I, um, I'm a morning person when I can get up in the morning, but sometimes I just sleep poorly and then can't get out of bed ever. This guy doesn't even visit Hotchkiss during the witching hour. <laughs> can't we just guess? Oh, so what side they get up on? Yeah. I'm down. I'm so down, actually. And then fax it. Maybe Tino's time zone means he's already up, so. Lupe, um... <laughs> oh, both is an option. So let's put both for people who don't have slippers. Both. And then for Bill, let's say he gets up on the left, since he hasn't actually gotten up yet. All right. Remember Why what? did we say both for Guadalupe? Because there was no evidence she got up on either side. No slippers. I guess that makes sense. Mm. Jimmy, why do you take such loud slurps? Because it makes me enjoy my drink more. Alright. Come on, Tino. Wake the fuck up. It would actually be earlier Matthew in the God. morning for him. Wow, he's just yet? like me. I sure am. Good girl. We totally woke him up. I'll just turn on my fax machine here. It okay. should be. Let her rip. Wait, where in Canada are we? Alberta, I think. Oh, wait, no, I think Alright, we got. Up somewhere, Nancy. Impossible. According to the survey you just sent me, uh, the only crime any of our suspects could have perpetrated is jaywalking. Do it over and call me before you fax it, okay? You bet. Anything else? Well, well someone's. Geez, we have to see Lou's room. I better go. No, yeah, stranger. yeah. Well, we did see Lou's room. Let's just sleep ahead. Well, I don't want to miss breakfast because it's like right around the corner. As long as it's not time oh. to cook, I might as well stay right. out of the if I, if I skip to 7 a.m., I should be fine. So they're going to be expecting us downstairs for breakfast any second now. I thought we just had to be there you at know some what? point between 7 and 8.15. Let's just go get breakfast going now. Not time for kitchen duty yet. What are you smoking, Nancy? There now it is. <laughs> yeah, I just watched the one second, the one minute thing click. Okay. Oh, this is a tough one, but I'm not controlling. Oh, some of that French toast is going to burn. Two, one. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Uh. Ah! <laughs> ah! Jameson! I gotta give it off before it catches fire. You can burn shit in this game. Can you really? Yeah, it's a game over. Okay. One Canadian bacon, too? I know, that's what I'm saying. This is the hardiest breakfast they've ever had here. Okay. Two Canadian bacon. Not to mention the omelets, too. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Cook, damn you! 
three. Oh, Lupe's. We don't have to cook for Lupe anymore. Oh yeah. Bill can have his. Oh, and it beer. says their rooms. I never even noticed that about the cards up there. Let's see that. Gush Gush. So wait, is this delivery service? Oh, it actually might be. I never thought be. of that. They get breakfast in bed. Ah, oh, that does change things a bit. I kind of like that. One. Order up. Yanni does not want an omelet. That seems unlike Yanni. <laughs> Pour the egg on the stove. <laughs> See yes. if it's a nonstick. <laughs> oh gosh. Paprika. Lots of paprika. Oh my god. Who was that for? Wait, that wasn't for Lou, was it? Oh shit, it was for Lou. Jamie! <laughs> Is he gonna accept that? I mean, we've already been briefed once that he doesn't like paprika. Order up. Oh, you're gonna kill the man. Lou's gonna hate us, dude. I thought that Ollie would send it back. All right, what would your order be, Jamie? Oh, I would I would probably do everything. Maybe a little light on the cheese. I don't like cheese and egg as a combo. Hmm. I do. Oh, no Lou comment. didn't say shit. Lou's not dead. What a soy boy. He did not have the nerve to stand up and correct his order. <laughs> Uh, Kala Kala, whose room is this? I don't know. Uh, we have something that tells us. Here we go. This is Yanni's room. So Yanni gets up at the right. We were right about that. Yeah. He makes his own bed, so he's a he's a he's a mama's boy. This is Lou's room, I believe. It's nothing. We uh, just need to get inside. Um, Lou gets up on both. Bills. Yeah, but we also got to get in when it's dirty laundry. Never mind, Lou doesn't have any. He's, he has not changed clothes either. He just reeks of paprika and sweat. <laughs> Ew. Uh, this is this was Lupe's room, but now it's vacant. Sorry, was there something weird on the wall there? I guess it's just normal. And then Bill's room. Bill gets up on the, on right, the right side. side. So nobody left. gets up on the left. Hmm. Right. Okay. <sighs> Ring a ding ding. I got it all set up for you. It's all here, Mr. Tino. Nancy, hey, <sighs> you give that Serbia another shot? I sure did. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> so we only me. changed one single thing, right? And let's see how Which that affects. Me. Yeah. But if it. According to this survey. One of our suspects regularly breaks in the pet shops, which, even if that's true, doesn't help us here. So that does mean I know. Do it that over. Bill regularly breaks into pet shops. Yes, there. you're right. So I better go. Always a pleasure. That's an interesting conclusion. All right. Well, what have we done that can't be? Have we assumed Bill hates paprika? Bill does not hate paprika. He said nothing bad against it. Does not hate paprika. Earth. Planet X. Jeez. Oh, I'm, I'm worried. Pluto. Did he? Did she say Venus after all? No, I think she said Earth. Wait a second. I have an idea. Call her and ask her these questions. Yeah, we're gonna ask her to get the the real answers. Not a bad idea. Two one three five 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 three two six four. But she gets up on the left side of the bed. You Which wacko would mean then... eco terrorist. I mean, whoever's thing we're revising means they're a criminal. Hello. <laughs> I'm thinking Ms. of all ages sitting Hi, and staring Nancy at Lupe all throughout dinner, Pete knowing Lodge? he was gonna go yes, evict her right after. <laughs> right? Well, Ollie hasn't succeeded in shooting or trapping it yet, if that's what you mean. If only I was there to protect it. Our organization is trying desperately to arrange to have the wolf captured and transported to a sanctuary. But so far, all the ones we've contacted are full. And unless and until we find a place for it, our hands are tied. Hmm. Tell me more about the contact you've had with the wolf. I I feel like this doesn't it's have to be undercover angel. shit. How about instead we just ask her what side of the bed she wakes up on? That's what I'd like to get to. Alright, so do we want to be honest or do we want to be vague? Let's be honest. All right. When I was trapped out on the lake cool without story. a coat, it dragged one to the shore and left it there for me. Mm, it may have 
sensed you were in trouble, or its behavior may have been totally random. But either way, the fact that the wolf didn't simply run away from you is very bad news. It is? Uh? Wolves and humans simply do not mix. While wolves may appear to be similar to dogs, behaviors that have been bred out of dogs after thousands of years of domestication are still instinctive to wolves. Hmm. Training a wolf to behave like a dog may mask those instincts, but it cannot eradicate them. For that reason, no matter how sociable the wolf may appear, instinct can at any moment rear its ugly head with devastating results for any humans involved and for the wolf. I guess that especially makes sense. for the wolf. Who will have simply been doing what comes naturally. Hmm. So why should avoid all contact with a wolf? Unfortunately, the damage has probably already been done. But you should certainly not initiate contact. And do not ever ever give okay. in to the temptation to we can probably ask some things. For one thing, a wolf's jaws are twice as powerful as a German Shepherd's, and should your hand happen to get in its way when it tries to feed... I get the picture. For another thing, making the wolf dependent upon you for food would seal its doom. It sounds strange, Nancy, but the very best thing you can do for that wolf is nothing. Bet. Mm. I'll let Ollie shoot it. Uh, let's ask this now. I've got another kind of weird question for you. From what side of the bed do you usually get up? That is weird, but harmless, it I suppose. It is the left Let's side. Think. Wacko. You clean. You see Berkeley. <laughs> okay. Well, now, if this is correct, then she's a hardened criminal. That's right. Oh um, my gosh, there's like 50 million conversation topics. I I kind of want to ask some of these things. It's probably dialogue I've never heard. Yeah. Did you ever hear any explosions while you were staying at Icicle Creek Lodge? Yes, as a matter of fact, I heard several. Do you have any idea what caused them? My first thought was that Ollie had completely lost it and was going after the wolf with explosives. But when I realized that even he wasn't that stupid, I assumed it was someone clearing an avalanche or a downed tree or something. While we're on the subject of explosions, did anyone ever figure out what made the bunkhouse blow up like that? The sheriff says it was plastic explosives. Wow, that's serious. It's a reasonable question. No offense, but it sounds to me like instead of hiring a new maid, the owner of the lodge should have hired herself a detective. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, that's all right, Lupe. Yeah. Here, eat this pill wrapped in cheese. When you were here at the lodge, how come you had a magazine that featured Yanni Volkstaya in your room? You're very observant. I read the article thinking he might make a good spokesperson for Run and Grow Free. I actually talked oh, to him. But then I actually talked to him. At which point I realize that not only is he a raving egomaniac, but he's appallingly superstitious when it comes to wolves. I put in a brush into wrong. that conversation. I was afraid he might try to tell me that wolves had eaten his grandmother <laughs> or something. You know, actually... Uh, never mind. <laughs> I wish she, she had that conversation with him now. Yeah, that would have been really uncomfortable. So, are you kind of an expert on wolves? Oh, good heavens, no. Although I probably know more about them than most people do, which unfortunately isn't saying much. Things like what? Well, I know that a wolf that lives by you itself... You know, her like voice actor is kind of familiar to me. A lone wolf, if you will. A wolf like that is called a disperser. I do have a guess on I know that 95% of the wolf's natural habitat down here in the lower 48 states has disappeared. And I know some people, a lot of people, couldn't care less. But it seems to me that wolves have just as much right to go about their business in this country as we humans do. Hilda Swenson. After all, Hilda Swenson. First. I could see that. It's kind of her intonation. That's what I'm picking up on. I wonder if I'm right. Hmm. Why can't the group you belong to just capture the wolf, take it out to the middle of nowhere, and let it go? Because unfortunately, there's really no such place as nowhere anymore. We humans are, or can be, everywhere. Plus, wolves can travel great distances. Contact with humans would be inevitable. So just and let it be! ...has obviously yeah. lost its fear of humans. It would be an easy target for anyone it's prone to shoot robot. first and ask questions later. No, a sanctuary is the only place where it would be truly safe. This is starting to sound like the railroad in Fallout 4, not gonna lie. It's just a futile quest, but I, I don't know. Uh... I do, I do want to ask a couple more questions. I don't want them to just be the phone call episode. Why didn't you just come out and tell the people at Icicle Creek Lodge that you were there to protect the wolf? Because I assumed, and quite correctly as it turns out, that very few people there would be sympathetic to my cause. The wolf is outside. Had I not been undercover, they may have tried to foil my efforts. 
Instead, I was able to foil theirs. For a while, at least. See, so she was just the culprit of half that stuff. We should ask this. Are you the one who wrecked all the gear that was in the fishing shack? Yes, that was me. Oh, what? I was afraid that Bill Kessler fellow would encounter the wolf on one of his trips out No the way! Shack, You're under arrest. badly for the wolf. So I did a number on his equipment. What? I've done worse while working on behalf of Run and Grow Free. Whoa, what have you done? Me. What a psycho bitch! I want you to expand on that, madam. If some EPA woman came out and wrecked my fishing tackle, I would be bloodthirsty. Wow. Aren't there any government agencies that can take care of the wolf? Aren't there any the government agencies that can take care of you? <laughs> Wolves are considered to be pests. If a government agency got involved, it would take care of the wolf all right. Permanently. Jesus, you're a pest. It gets so cold here at night. Will the wolf be okay? Not only are wolves built to withstand cold okay, you've temperatures, every single cold. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave this one last. I'll ask. Survive in extreme conditions. If they didn't, they would have disappeared from the earth eons ago. That's fascinating. Goodbye. I'd better get going. Thanks for calling. Oh, and from now on, call me Lupe. I think you've earned that right. No. Great. No, we're not friends. Actually, I don't like you. <laughs>